Why is abstract mathematics important? Because abstraction is an amazingly powerful tool, perhaps more powerful than mathematics itself. Let me back up a little bit. Forget mathematics. When was the last time you, say, made pasta? You know how to make pasta, right? Boil water, add pasta, wait a little bit, then take out the pasta. If you're feeling fancy, add some other stuff. Already, you're taking advantage of abstractions. How do you know how long to boil that pasta? Isn't it conceivable that one noodle of pasta differs in some way from another noodle of pasta, even in the same box? But you avoid those questions by abstraction, you don't worry about the specific noodles of pasta you have, but you treat it like this abstract collection of stuff that you only need to boil for, say, 10 minutes. As you go forward with your pasta making, you learn that there are yet other shapes. Maybe you boil those shapes differently, but you realize that they're pretty interchangeable from a culinary point of view. In other words, if you have a recipe for bucatini alla matriciana, and you have all the ingredients for the dish except you have spaghetti instead of bucatini, by the power of abstraction you can still make a perfectly nice dish, spaghetti alla matriciana. It goes on, what if your alla matriciana recipe calls for guanciale and you have none? You know that pancetta is pretty close, while tofu is, not close at all. And on, and on. When you really study cooking, you don't even understand a recipe in terms of ingredients, you understand it in terms of roles. You identify the balance of sweet, salt, acid, fat, spiciness, umami, or other flavor categories. In other words, you understand a recipe abstractly. The abstract approach lets you identify solutions quickly. Okay okay, back to math. Why study abstract mathematics? Because abstraction equals portability. I can be an engineer working on some problem in, say, fluid mechanics. It might be very difficult, but after a while I get a solution. An electrical engineer might be working on the exact same mathematical problem, except with an electrical interpretation rather than a fluid mechanical one. In the Feynman Lectures on Physics, this point is illustrated beautifully in this section, titled, The Same Equations Have the Same Solution. Here, he gives a brief tour of how Maxwell's equations of electromagnetism govern all kinds of other phenomena, heat flow, motion of a stretched membrane, diffusion of neutrons through a medium, fluid flow, uniform lighting of a plane The thing linking all these physical phenomena is abstract mathematics. So, why is it useful to study abstract mathematics? Because you might solve six physics problems at once. Two reasons, 1. Many people find abstract mathematics beautiful to the point of being impossible to stay away from. That makes it important to them, like art is important to the artist and seafaring is important to the seafarer. 2. Abstract math has an uncanny ability to suddenly become not abstract math, finding applications in science, engineering, economics and other very practical human endeavors. Modern physics, computer science, statistics, electrical engineering and information theory rely heavily on deeply abstract mathematical theories which, in part, were developed long before anyone dreamed of such applications. So, for some people abstract math is important because it holds the promise of the pragmatic, and for some people it is important regardless of any such promise, or precisely because it has none. Of course, to others, it is not important at all. We don't all need to care about the same things. Abstract mathematics is not important, at least not compared to physiological needs or most of the things in Maslow's hierarchy of needs. On the other hand abstraction is a fundamental human capability without which Maslow couldn't have a hierarchy or even a need. Mathematics is the art of abstracting generalities and formally manipulating those abstractions to deduce conclusions that are widely applicable. It is the foundation of, accounting, engineering, science, computing, technology all of which are moderately important in modern society. They are even important if you happen to be starving or in need of shelter as you are probably lucky enough to be living in a society that can take care of those needs. On the third hand abstract mathematics is probably not top of mind if you are, busting, to go to the lavatory and you need to find a bathroom because it supplies different viewpoints on a problem and it makes you understand it a lot better. Abstract mathematics is merely something that emerges naturally when you try to tackle hard problems. 
Let me show you a beautiful example. Leonard Euler was asked how to cross all the seven bridges connecting the four land pieces of Konigsberg but cross every bridge only once and end the journey at the start, you can give it a shot if you like, but Euler could prove that such a way does not exist. How? He abstracted the land pieces to dots and the bridges to connections between them. Then he thought of the whole thing as a polygon, came up with an equation and showed that this problem doesn't satisfy it. This abstraction gave rise to two mathematical disciplines called graph theory and topology which have widespread applications inside and outside maths. But why was this abstraction necessary in the first place? Well, Euler may have looked for a path for some time until he got the suspicion that there may not be one. But he couldn't just claim that, right? He had to find a proof. But to do that, he had to understand the problem on a different level and so he eventually abstracted it further and further until he came to point where things got clear to him.